What's good, yo? It's your boy Spiritual Neasy, back with another video, man. Now in today's video, I want to talk about humility and how important it is to be humble and to humble yourself um, as a human being because nobody is better than anybody, bro. I don't care what you think. Everybody has their own problems. Everybody is going through something that you may not even think that they're going through. And, you know, we're, we're all on the same level, man. I mean, the only one that's better than anyone is God. We are all a piece of dust. We're all sheep compared to God. And the Lord is our good shepherd, right? So when I say humility, we first must understand that Jesus Christ embodied not only love, forgiveness, grace, mercy, all these great things, but he also embodied humility. He embodied humbleness, right? Because God or Jesus came down to earth in the form of a human. God came down to earth in the form of a human, which was Jesus Christ. So God literally humbled himself to be like his creation, to save his creation from eternal damnation, right? So humility is also love because God created himself into a flesh that was Jesus Christ to save who he loved, which was his creations, us humans. He loves us. He loves you watching this video. So when you humble yourselves, James chapter 4 verse 10 says, humble yourselves before the Lord and he will exalt you. Matthew chapter 24 verse 12 says, he who makes himself great or exalts himself will be made humble. But he who humbles himself will be made great, will be exalted by the Lord. It says this many times in the Bible, man. So it's very important to get rid of that ego, man. Get rid of that prideful, that pridefulness in your heart. That pride to make you feel as if you're better than somebody or you're too good to talk to this person or you're too good to fellowship with this person or you're too good to give this person a piece of your time. Bro, let me tell you, bro, if you if you feel like that, you are I mean, I mean, not you, not just you, but me. We're 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 dust. We're a piece of dust, man. You got to understand that if you were to pass away tomorrow, you would be very humbled by the fact of how many people would actually care. Right. But listen, we got to get rid of that ego, man. That's from Satan. That ego, that pride demon, it, it's it's that egotistical energy. It's not from God, man. That's Satan. Satan is, the, the hell is rejoicing when people ego other people, when people use their ego as a weapon, you know? Satan loves that, man. That's why me personally, you know, I used to be around a lot of egotistical environments, a lot of egotistical people in the YouTube community. And I had to remove myself from that environment. God actually had to remove me from that environment because I didn't I was I didn't have the power to remove myself. And that's why I say it takes power, man. It takes power and wisdom to really humble yourselves and, you know, to be able to go through humility. And more specifically, when I say humility, I mean denying yourself. Denying yourself is a form of humility, picking up your cross like Jesus calls us to do every day if we want to be a disciple of his. What does it mean to pick up your cross? It means to turn away from this world, turn away from your evil fleshly desires to kill your flesh, to put your flesh into submission and, and truly surrender to God, man. Truly surrender and be obedient to Christ. That's what it means to pick up your cross. It means to die in the flesh meaning not giving in to your natural fleshly sinful desires but rather choosing to follow god and choosing to serve the lord with your body with your mind with your soul with your spirit that's what it means to deny yourself that is a form of humility which is love when you deny your cross when you deny yourself and you pick up your cross this is a form of humility, which humility is a form of love. We have to learn how to humble ourselves, man. You are never too good to talk to anybody. See, Jesus calls us to come together as 
the body of Christ. So if you're doing good, if you're, you know, doing good on your walk with Christ and, 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 and you're and you're strong, that doesn't mean, you know, oh, you're self-righteous. You're going to keep all the knowledge and the wisdom to yourself. No, share the gospel, share the knowledge and the wisdom and the love that you have so you can bring others to the kingdom of God. I can only imagine being in heaven by myself. Like, yeah, it would feel good, but it would not compare to the feeling of, me being in heaven and bringing thousands of people with me. That's happiness. God is the only judge, man. Do not be fooled. We are not called to judge other people, man. The same scale that you use to judge other humans is the same scale that God can use to judge you. And if you're not following Jesus Christ, you're in for a scary, scary judgment on the day of his return, man. So be careful when you look at people, and even myself, you know. Be careful when you look at people and you're so quick to judge, man. Just relax, man. Be humble, you know. Everybody goes through their lowest, darkest points in life. Everybody has their own struggles with sin. Everybody has their own demons that they're fighting, you know. Everybody has... You know, nobody's perfect is what I'm saying. Only God is perfect. So if none of us are perfect, who are we to judge each other? Who are we to judge each other if we have our own problems? See, everybody has their own problems, but some people are just better at disguising them. Don't, met, don't let people think that, don't let people make you think that they're perfect, bro. Ain't nobody perfect except God. Now, it can be hard to humble yourself and, and to, you know, humiliate and, and, and to undergo humility, but this goes hand in hand with being vulnerable. And I feel like when you're able to be vulnerable with people, it's a form of love because you never know how your vulnerability can help somebody else that might be going through the same thing. And you might encourage that person, you might motivate that person to stay strong and to, uh, and to not lower their self-esteem, you know? You might help that person with anxiety or, or any feeling that they, they feel they're not good enough. You might help that person by being vulnerable about your problems and, and, and not trying to portray yourself as some perfect person. The first words of Jesus Christ on the cross was, forgive these people for they do not know what they're doing. Those were his first words. And I can't even begin to, under, to, to, to fathom how powerful that is, man. I mean, getting spit at, mocked, beaten, whipped, and instead of cursing them like a lot of us would do in that scenario, Jesus says, forgive these people. See, that's another, that's another form of humility is even when people slander you, they persecute you, they say the, all these bad things about you. Forgiveness is so strong, man. It takes a lot more strength to not fight fire with fire, but to fight fire with love, man. It takes a lot more strength to do that. And that is what Jesus calls us to do, to pray for our enemies. And not to pray on their downfall, but to pray that they turn away from their evil ways and pursue the Lord. Main message from this video, man. We have to be more like Christ. And Christ was the most humble of them all. He didn't, I mean, he was the God of this world and he didn't come down in this world with jewelry and and, and the nicest horses and, and the nicest shoes and clothes. Bro, he came down as one of us. That, that is so humble, man. I admire to be that humble. And I encourage y'all to pursue that humbleness and that humility that is denying yourself, picking up your cross, forgiving others, and not keeping the wisdom that you may have to yourself, but being willing to spread that love and that knowledge and 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 that help that you may be able to help somebody find the truth find love find peace and happiness through jesus christ you will miss out on the abundance of blessings and life that god has to offer you if you refuse to give up your pride if you refuse to let go of that ego that's holding you back that's holding you down from satan it's holding you down and that comes from satan man that's not God, bro. We know that from God's word, he resists the proud and he gives grace to those that are humble. 
humble yourselves before the Lord. Allow the Lord to bless you and exalt you by being humble, showing love and forgiveness, and not running from humility, but embracing it, man. Embracing the struggles that may make you feel like you're not worthy. Just embrace it and give all glory to the Most High God. So that's all I got for this video, man. If you enjoyed, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Till next time, I love y'all, man. It's been your boy Neezy, and I'm out. Peace.